the Greenwich Mean Time hand and the solar hand, the angle is driven by a kidney-shaped um, cam. On the back of the cam, it's scratched, John Shelton, fake it. Shoe Lane, uh, 1736. And then below that, August the 25th. So I think he's claiming to make the first ever concentric solar hand and Greenwich Mean Time hand on the same dial. It's never been done before. And so there he is claiming it for his own invention. So the Greenwich Mean Time and the solar time are in line with each other and it is the 25th of December. So as we advance the calendar to the 11th of February, you can see the cam go round to a maximum. That point there. And then it will go back to zero on the 15th of April. That's there. And then it will increase the other way to the 14th of May. And then it will decrease again to zero on the 13th of June. And then it will reach its maximum uh, on the other direction on the 3rd of November. So it's 16 and a half minutes out. This Shelton method of having the sun hand and the Greenwich mean hand um, is certainly the easiest way to understand what happens. But nowadays, we're so immune to the effects of the sun and the moon, uh, we just think that all time must be Greenwich mean time. And very, very few people have even, even heard of sundial time, let, let alone have to make allowances for it whenever they set their clocks. And of course, most people don't even have clocks these days because it's all automatic Greenwich mean time on their phones 24-7.